Heck. All right. Say hi to everyone. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone to I League Season 3. Ten for the finals round, remaining. the game between Khan Say Wisp from Australia versus Agnes Gaming remaining. from uh, Philippines in base of 3 series. And this is the first game Reserve of the series. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ban pick face. Axe and Lich, first two pick from Agonist game is going to be a dual lane by Agonist, maybe dual top. Well, gotta inform you guys, this is my first day using a new microphone. I just bought a new headset. I really wanna know the fi uh, uh, what do you think about the sound quality now? Is it, is it better than before? Well, Ten seconds if, you, if, if you watched my cast before, Dire team ban. Phoenix as a second pick of team Khan say with Pro Warlord. Radiant team ban. And a beast master. Faces void ban by Khan say Wisp. I'm kinda surprised. You know they, they also really love to play um, Faces Void for CS Bill. Let's take a look back Dire in that. <coughs> These two teams I like, met for like um, four times, Radiant and you know what? Ban. Arcanist never win against C as a build. The best I can do is just a tie series, uh, one one. Queen of Pain, Dire Team pick. The last time they met each other is like four, uh, two weeks ago in JD MLG Pro League. And it's see as a bill. Grab the victory. Queen of Pain is here for Agony's Gaming. Uh, picking Ten seconds, picking Queen of Pain is like remaining. ensure that you will not lose the mid lane, which Five is the most important remaining. lane in the game. Queen of Pain is one of the best mid lane Reserve heroes. Time. We still got Earth Shaker for Arcanist Gaming. You know, if Arcanist is pick Earth Shaker and Queen of Pain, it will be very, very dangerous for Khan Tavis mid lane because there's one Fisher and then Queen of Pain jumped in, Scream of Pain, Shadow Strike, that's it. End of story. Clockwork. Clockwork. Radiant Team it's here. Pick. Remaining. I might have to turn up my mic wall a Five bit. Five seconds remaining. Uh, it's a bit too soft, right? Reserve time. Should be fine now. Hello, test, test. Hello. Okay. Witch Doctor Dire Team Pick Witch Doctor Arcanist Gaming Instead of going for a shaker, Arcanist went for Witch Doctor. I I, I kinda like that lineup this game for Arcanist. The last hero is going to be Um some hard carry, maybe a draw ranger. What do you think? Sniper ban, shall vein ban as, as well. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, possible. A draw ranger. Lina. 
Lena can't say with radiant team ban. Oh, looks like can't say with is picking a red strategy here. Throw warlord with a red face. <coughs> By the way, um, ten seconds remaining. Dap Zilz said in the chat that hey, I sound like Five I have a cold. Remaining. It's not a cold actually. Uh, it's is is a Songkran festival Reserve in Bangkok, time. Thailand, and you know, it's, everyone just get drunk going out to party, including me. I've been party every night for like two or three days already. <laughs> it's Songkran festival, guys, like um, a one week long festival where all the um, nobody working now. For like one week, a long holiday, pretty fun. Splashing waters. Okay, but take a look at that Dire lion. Ban. Last band. Radiant team pick. He is a draw ranger man and last pick Meeple by Icones Gaming. Mm, can't say with Now the last heroes of Can't Say with what's it gonna mean? I have to deal with this hard carry Meeple. Very well farming Meeple will be very, you know, aggressive. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Here come the reserve time for Khan Savis. How you gonna? Yeah, the only. That's mm. so why Icon is gaming. They ban out that lion because they don't want to deal with a duo. Um, Laguna Blade and the Finger, because it seems like the only way to kill this Meepo is to burst him down as fast as you can. I don't think Pro Warlord can kill this Meepo because of the net, but yeah. Now can't say which they really need a Nooker. This is going to be. A mid lane, what do we got? Uh, Storm? Earth Shaker. Oh, it's Earth Shaker! Core Heroes, I think. Nah, it's going to be a Lena mid. Wedding Crash is going to play Lena mid and Earth Shaker Phoenix as a support. I am pre I, I kinda like this lineup of Khan which is is like the best they can get. Last pick Earth Shaker. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Say remaining. hi to all the guys in the chat room. Looks like we only got one match of um I League today. There you go. Hello, test. All right, looks like my work fine. Prepare the first day battle. using this mic, guys, and we are in the game already. Oh shoot! Gonna do some quick intro. Who play who in this game? Um, for Arcanese in a radiant side, a mighty savior on Queen of Pain. Play hard on X. Hyric on Meepo, Fry Butterflies on Witch Doctor, and Chop Rio Ramos on Lich. For CS Bill, in the dire side, Godot with Earth Shaker, Wedding Cratch on Lena, and now they're just gonna fight each other. Godot is here, ready to land his Fitzer. But they all retreat. Meepo got away with 315 movement speed. They still keep on chasing. Try to zone battle. now and drop some sentry wards here. 
All right, and two D on Clockwork, three for three on Phoenix, and Chains on Troll Warlord. The battle begins. Money to pay. Bottom lane is a duo lane for Arcanist with the uh, Queen of Pain and Witch Doctor. Middle lane Hyric Meepo. I I at first I thought it's going to be a Meepo hard carry in a safe lane, but no Hyric is here. Laning against Lena, kind of dangerous for me, but I think. Lich. Top lane is solo lane of Axe against the Troll. It's gonna be hard lane for Troll Warlord, I think. But well, Troll Warlord just gonna use the range. Because of the rage. Oh, the creep stacks one, two, three, four. Man, they block it all. See, is a build just gonna go hard on this. Look at this. This this can't Dyer's block. Middle tower oh, what's that meepo? Goldot is chasing on him. He's got a fast too. Goldot with a boot and Hyric walking slower than this Earth Shaker. He's gonna get hit a fist today, maybe. Goldot. Not yet, not enough mana to use his fitter. Man, what a harass by that Earth Shaker. A dangerous mid lane. On top, on top. Oh my, almost missed that. Change. That is a first blood. Very nice dive by Drop Real Ramon, the Lich and Axe. They almost got the first blood on the mid lane for yes. RC as a build. They lost top in state. Tooting. Oh, look at it go! Here come melting. And Tooting. He got Curse blinking for Mighty Xavier. That is the last cock of his life. He's dead. And oh, Phoenix strike back and got that witch doctor. Ikra dives in. Looks like they keep on killing every lane. Earth Shaker trying to take this axe down on top. Really hard to focus in one lane, this one. I kinda like this pick of Team Arcanist, they pick Axe and Lich, you know, um, so whenever Axe is not around, this Lich can turn himself into an offlane using the Sacrifice, gain some experience, and yeah, I really like this Lich pick of Arcanist. Hylic. Top lane diving in for the Troll Warlord. Let's take a look at some graph, guys. Here's the graph. Mm. Gold earn on Zia's bill. XP earn still pretty even. Top rear Ramos. Lich. Now he might get caught. 1 2, 2 1, and 1 2. You missed that light strike array. I don't think they can kill this Lich anymore. He's kind of fast. Dyer's middle tower is under no. attack. You know, I'm kind of addict to to the fast movement speed heroes. Like, I think the slow Dyer's movement speed is, 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 is very big. You know, um, what's it called? Very big thing in Dota 2. Go dot. 
standing here with his throw warlord might come from behind chains now got 12 last hit compared to axe with 11 farming pretty okay Think three four three. It's really hard for me to farm in NC. Hey guys, do comment. Please comment about my mic. Yeah, I wanna. I just. I just. I'm using my new mic today. A brand new microphone. I got um, a Corsair headset. Three four three standing on the high ground. I'm not sure he he hear the sound or not. I think he is Ikra dive down. Uh, wedding crash stuck in the net. And now he cannot land it. Light cycle ray miss another light cycle ray on this ledge. He could have killed that one if he didn't miss that. But anyway, he's trying to go in again. Still no ultimate yet, but just right click is enough to kill the job here. Ramos he trained that with his life. Meepo got the kill. I. I think it's, it's oh and three for three still no dive. He's gonna be fine, but Queen of Pain is here as well. Mighty Savior chasing him down. Phoenix only got around 100 HP away. A dive to where? To nowhere. And he's tired. I really hate my voice now. You know. Oh my. What a punk. During a show. <laughs> that fight recap. Invisibility. Just one look at the blade. Which doctor on bottom lane? Agnes. Middle tower is under attack. Tootie. The clockwork. Now level 5. I want to show you guys. Um, Drag it on. Already. This is the overall level. Level 7 already for me, Paul. Look at this one. Invisibility rune in on which doctor? Agonies. Hmm. All right. Just gonna adjust the music volume a bit. On top lane, play hard. The game is still, you know, they are not... I kind of worry about this troll warlord, he cannot get his farm at all, and now he die one time too, chains. Laning against um, Lich and Axe is no joke, man. Once you try to go near, you might get a uh, Frost Blast, and then just Axe run in with a Tranquil Boot and call you. Dry butterflies. Now it's time for the support to get some levels. Phoenix. I think Phoenix might go for first item hand of Midas to farm in late game. I think CS and Bill need to do something. Maybe maybe they should try to do some smoke gank. Anyway, wedding crasher farming pretty okay with a face boot and a bottle. Dyer's middle tower is under Play hard is here on top. Four heroes. He has a build too. They gotta hook someone up here. Fisher hits that job real Ramos, and they kind of greedy. They want it all. They want both of them. And yeah, oh my! A nice using Laguna Blade and hit that wedding crasher drop low. Double kill for the Queen of Pain, and he got away with the haste, but he's coming back again for Goldot.
I think CSW just got a little bit greed, too greedy just now. They want them all. So this Rich Doctor did keep me away the to the tower. Fry Butterfly Grind me and down. kill with the fire. Here come play hard. Just gonna rush in with 425 movement speed. Now he cannot call on that Urchaker yet. So he called on this 343. How the Helix just killed him? On my steel. My striker Ray walking back. A surprise from Lena. He's still there, but Lena. It's gonna be another surprise for Lena too because Top Rear Ramos is here, Queen of Pain as well. Mike going behind might be Savior. Clockwork. Q0 died too, and now he's level 7 with invisibility rune. No, not this one. You cannot kill this one. Might be this one, Meepo. Just set up the cocks and hooks on him. Like I mentioned earlier, they can switch the uh, Lich to um, an off lane. Now he's low down that pro warlord. If you guys notice, you you see that Dota 2 these days, they kinda Radiance middle giving tower some priority to a movement speed of the heroes. I mean, they are not going to pick a slow movement heroes like Crystal Maiden or uh, yeah or something like that. Radiance middle tower is under attack. The movement speed is very important. Now this is gonna dive in. Yeah. Or oh, a real one throwing in Pally Cast and a chain for a nice hook by two. He locks down on two. So here comes the Phoenix. Oh my Phoenix Sun in the middle of the fight and Mighty Savior finished the target with a Sonic Wave and now Echo Slam coming out to feature as well. Dive in once again. Hyrix still alive but he dropped low. Shooting the Sun Ray 3 for 3. He's trying to finish that Meepo but he can't. He died by himself shooting by the tower. Three down for Team Agonies. Oh, come on. Radiant structures are fortified. That is a fight recap. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Wow, you know my voice now is kind of interesting. I, I never, yes, I never have this voice before. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Haste. I remember last time I cast, uh, um, I cast. Uh, CSBL is a game between CSBL versus Team Malaysia and it's really very boring game you know they, they just keep on farming but well that that is that's what happened when you play against Team Malaysia they are a very tactical team with Mushi as a drafter their plan is very smart Here. Hark. I'm just gonna update you guys some overall item here. And this is the items. Look at that. This Meepo almost got his agony scepter. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Mighty Savior. Nice setup by Wedding Crash. Follow up with the Light Strike Array. And finish with the Lena. The royal catacombs. That was hot. Oh, it's Calais. Guy's gonna be a little bit lag right now, but it's not gonna last long. Now look at this one, Judy. Fry by the fries. Here come the Fisher. And which doctor needs to walk back a little bit. 
looks like my internet just went, for, went out fallen. for some grand festival or something. Come on, internet, you can do better than this. Look at this wedding crash. The good thing of playing Lena is uh, the cooldown is very fast. Imagine you can use that finger from Lion like every 70 minutes, now 60. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Drop real Ramos. Oops. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Lincoln mighty savior. And I read the Dyer's middle tower interview of of Exting like last week. He talked about how Southeast Asian team plays like Xing say all the Southeast Dyer's Asian teams is just copy attack. the China team's uh, strategy and yeah not saying they, they're not trying to counter that China team strategy but um, look at this one first looks like it's going to be a big team fight in the middle lane chain cross release as well as the Sonic wave drop a trade war too shooting on the throw warlord walking back to the high ground play hard still man by echo slam but cannot do much damage to this axe. But anyway, axe die. Here come the sun strike. Not a sun strike. I mean sun. Oh god, sun ray. Shot down by Queen of Pain. By clicking. See as a bill. Disaster. Let's say. In this team fight. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And they got that power too as a reward. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Let's see how many they got. Dyer's middle tower. tower is under attack. One tower for Queen of Pain. Hyrick finally got his Aghanim Scepter. 18, um, 17 minutes in, he got Aghanim Scepter and Boot of Travel. Now a smoke. That's what I'm talking about. This, this, this is what CSBU need to do more to shut down that meeple farming and NC or whatever. They need to smoke in to cut through the ward defense of Team Agnes. Now leading by clockwork, they might fire this axe. Jumping out of the trees, cannot fire anyone too. The Clockwork is gonna go for the next item for staff. Now smoke reveals two Dyer's smoking party meet each other. This might be a very awesome party for sure. When like uh, ten smokers uh, foul each other. Of course, you know. Uh, Illusion. Bottom lane, Hyric. Kinda waste their time for C as a bill. Running around and cannot get anyone. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Jump Dyer's Ramos. top tower has fallen. And it just got the top tower. Sonic wave by who? By Queen of Pain and now C as a bill chains. Looks like Chains is gonna go for Sent and Yasha first. Shooting the missile. Let's take a look at the craft again. Now it's Agony's leading on board Golden Xbear. top tower is under attack. Oh god. What is that exactly what's it called? Supernova? I don't know why I keep forgetting these Phoenix skills. I always call it Sun Ray, Sun Beam or, or whatever. Alright, now it's Supernova. 
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Gara for the bottom lane. Agony is just gonna dive in and trying to take down the bottom tier one tower. CS build. There's nothing much CS build can do about that. So let's go. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Might go for another tower Radiance too. They're just gonna trade this one. Attack. Shooting, wedding crash. Fury sold and and crow warlord. Blink in by Playhard versus the call on the throne. Nice so in by 2D. Laguna Blade finish that axe. And double kill. Two down for Team Agonies. And 2D trying to TP away, but Mebo is here and net him like a fisherman. Oh god, 2D the fish. And now he got net again. Fish Doctor finish him. But no, Queen of Pain is dying as well. Dropping a dead ward. The dead ward shooting on his Lina. But nice using that ill save to counter the ultimate. And shoot him down by Lina. Turns out is four and and two for both sides. Let's take a look. I kind of wonder who, who won that team Lina fight. Earth thanks you. Um, just gonna check. Okay, okay, all right. It's not gonna last long, guys, the lackness. Um, I think it's gonna be better in a second game. I, I really hate my internet provider. I'm booked in by Trudy. Locked out is me, boy, in the car, sending in a chain frost. One, two, bounce, three, four. Four, five bounds, what a chain fraud from Blitz! It's two for two and now Supernova, Ikra dive in, slowing down, shooting that fiery spirits as well. Drop real Ramos, shooting the Sun Ray, Witch Doctor. With a double kill. Oh, I, I think he can kill with his Veldict. Yeah, it should be fine now, I think. Man, what an action-packed game we got here. 18 to 18 game score, 36 kills in total in only around Radiant's 22 minutes. It's like, they keep going into a team fight. This is what I love about Southeast Asian Dota. This is who we are, you know. I think the Southeast Asian scene is the most aggressive scene in the world. You can see that from our Southeast MMR game. Chain Frost in the team fight is very important. Look at that Lich. He turned himself into a carry too. He just got his um he got his Anamidas and he's just gonna go for the next item four staff to counter that clockwork hook then. Maple. A blink dagger, boot of travel, and agony scepter. Jump rear Ramos. A battle trance. Oh, see a build change. Try to chop down his Gochan. A nice hook into the high ground, but he was very warm. Welcome. From Team Agony dropping a date one and now 2D still on a high ground. He needs to TP away. Echo Slam hits that Meepo right in the face. But it's just not enough to kill the Meepo though. It turns out that Earth Shaker is the one who died here. Chain Frost just one bounce and shooting from the high ground. He was kited so bad. Chain kite him like a kite. 
Another warrior. good fight by Agonies. Oh man, this game is just like they they keep on you know taking the lead on the killing score. This is like watching NBA in in, in the last quarter. No thanks. Twenty two to twenty now. And yep, it looks like it's going to be an Aegis. So Igra die trying to steal that Rosen and dive in and Supernova. At least he's just gonna get a support here. Fry Butterfly is dead. Killing spree broken and still chasing for more. Forstaff himself in. 3 for 3 Dropping low. Chase down on that Lich. Mighty Savior is on killing spree. Suddenly a wild axe appears on the high ground. Bling down to the low ground and he got 2 day in the cox. Double kill by Mighty Savior. Hi, Rick. Take a look at all our item again, guys. Mighty Savior already finished this Black King buy. Believe that is a brand new BKB. Yeah, never used before. With Ages of Immortal and all kit of Marilyn's. Invisibility. Invisibility. Maple with a blink. Oh, that is a very, very late drum. What do you think about that late drum? <coughs> Should he still buy that? A blade mail coming up from Playhard, but looks like he's in the problem. He's stuck down in that a cox and shooting drop a date ward. Unstoppable for Mighty Savior. A triple kill for Mighty Savior and it looks like Wedding Crash trying to finish him with oh god a lockdown in net by Wedding Crash and he yields himself trying to get out of that people. A gang of people. Goldot coming in with Earth Check Echo Slam and not gonna help, but they all died because of this people. Triple kill for Meeple. And double kill, and trip is a is a double triple kill from Agony side, triple kill from attack. Queen of Pain and the Meepo too, and he bought back, so it's thick dates in total just now for CS Bill. A big big lead for Agony. Look at that Meepo. I'm just gonna go attack. in. For this one. I don't think they can stand. They're gonna lose at least one barrack for sure. Hyrick is very, very strong now. Meeple getting closer and closer to his Hex. Blinking Hex, that's it. Hit by Meeple. Zero percent chance to survive. Agony is going super strong. You know, they... they they lost their two main players to team, um, what's it called, uh, TNC. They lost um, Bok, their offlaner, and Boombax, their supporters, to team TNC. Ooh. And now they just, they, they took in, I believe, Playhard, and, and Jopria Ramos. They, they're doing pretty okay. Play hard and on off lane. He play. He, he replaced that bomb. CSB is still playing with that same lineup. So many Singaporeans in the teams. Like three from Singapore. Adam Cha. Talking about our iLeague tournament, thank you very much everyone for tuning in and support our iLeague tournament which is season 3 already. And this season we got a main sponsor is Do You TV. Well guys, you love Dota, do you? My 
thanks. Hi, people. Oh, that effect. Uh, look at this one. Agony is trying to use his job real Ramos as a bait. Radiance top tower is under attack. Pushing in is gonna trade the power. Is under attack. Me boys here, but I, I, I don't think I don't think here the build should trade this one because they're gonna push faster than. Dyer's bottom um, tower has than, fallen. Then see his bill. They got a meeple. Radiance top tower is under attack. A five heroes meeple. Radiance top tower. Look at that! Fallen. Look at how far they can break in your tower. And nobody is here to defend it. Oh, blinking for another Jake. Echo Slam dealing pretty much damage. Lena to finish that Meeple with Laguna Blade. No more Meeple dropping a Dead Ward. Shooting on this Throw Warlord, but no problem. Throw Warlord just spot activate this BKB. And keep on light clicking. That's which Dodd. He already got that. Drop Rear Ramos melted down because of Light Strike Array. And Dragon Slave and now Chains. Need to walk back a little bit, monster kill, mighty savior. The only one who got left here is the Queen of Pain and a Meeple. Oh man, look at that. Meeple drop low. They got that Meeple though. Triple kill for chains. Nice swipe back this one by CS Bill. Cyclone him up. Light swipe array, miss that. Mighty savior is gonna be fine, I, I think. Anyway, they managed to get a tower there. Pretty big fight again. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Still got chance to come back in this game for Zia's build, let's say. Chains just oh well wait. Axe. Blade Mail and mid through Hammer. Just gonna go straight for a BKB. I, I really like how he buy item for this axe. Very smart. Going straight for Blade Mail instead of getting a Vanguard. I saw so many people making mistakes on um, buying a Vanguard and um, Blade Mail and also Pipe. You need to listen to me. I mean, I mean the blade mail. If you want to go for a blade mail, you just use it as a peel blade mail in, uh, and do not buy any damage reducer items with your blade mail because the the damage that will reflect to your opponent will be very very low because you got Vanguard. So if you want to go for a blade mail, just go for a peel blade mail and then just get something like a Black King bar or whatever, not a damage reducer. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's Coming from behind, actually invisibility rune. Gonna be a good fight for Team Agony. They got very well done. Dropping a dead one. Knight using ill scepter on himself to dodge that dead one and mighty savior. Nope, it's the Phoenix Sun in the middle of the fight. Lagging a blade to finish off that Queen of Pain. Monster kill gone. Oh god, they're fighting everywhere, can't even focus one. A BKB Dyer's on Axe. Is under attack. And that's it, one for one. Another fight, meanwhile, split pushing top by Hyric with his Meeple. This Observer Ward is very important. You know, um, I don't know if it's a good thing or not because, but every time that when you lose this tower, that we are three tower, you're supposed to place the sentry here. First, why is to clear all the observer wards that your opponent will place around here once you got no uh, tower, and maybe your opponent got something like shadow blade or invisibility rune, you just can easily walk in like that. So yeah, always place the sentry wards when you don't have your tier 3 here. Oh. 
top Rio Ramos. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Um, my voice is kind of weird today. It's the first day that I use my brand new microphone, and also I lost all my voice in a in a Songkran festival party. I've been partying in Songkran festival here in Thailand for like um, three days in a row, man. <laughs> we are so happy here for the Thai people. The most awaited festival in Thailand. If, if you got a chance to come to Thailand, please come to our Song Grand Festival, man. It's awesome. Everyone just splashing waters around, uh, drinking, dancing, smoking, and looks like we are going to Ro Chan. And Rochan had fallen to the dire and looks like Troll Wall or picks that up. Invisibility! A nice stealing Rochan from Team Agonies. This one for Sea of the Bill. Gonna dive in, blinking by Mikey Xavier. BKB is just gonna turn, change, is trying to chop his sword at Queen of Pain away. He cannot use his Sonic Wave, but anyway, Agonies. Got two down already. Play hard with the BKB. Try to stop that Sunray. Uh, I mean, Supernova. Blinking and another burst of call and throw wall or no BKB. Already he's gonna get nuked down. He's the only one who got left here. Pop work left. Throwing in pair like ass and shooting on the throw wall or they already got the throw. Making three broken and might go for more. They got them all and it's a team wide. They will lose at least one barracks. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. What a play by Agony's gaming. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. Going on top lane, nobody's in a see a SW team want or have a buyback. They, they, they can't buy back, but it's no use. Not a bot back. One more try for Team CSW, but he got hexed down or by chain, and that's it. That, that's gonna force CSW to say GG if they lost that throw. That should be it for the first game. Booty. Dropping low, going in for Goldard, still got no Echo Slam. Sonic Wave from 2D. Mighty Savior. And that is a GT call from Chains. Game number one, Arcane is taking the lead in I League for the finals. We're gonna take a break for a few minutes and then we will just jump into the next game, guys. <laughs> 